uh, greetings of the day my dear friends in this video i am just discussing going to discuss about to the uh, research scholars problem uh, what basically the problem they face uh, in the duration in, in which they of get the phd degree uh, here i have observed that in some cases what happens uh, supervisor provide the problem uh, before providing the problem supervisor actually provide the research paper of their field and then after after 6 months or 3 months they provide uh, some uh, techniques or uh, technology so by which the student get familiar and uh, come on the problem after 6 months but in some cases what happens supervisor don't know about to the problem and they ask to the scholar to search out the problem right so this is very dangerous game so here those uh, supervisor i am not against to anyone so don't take it personally if you are uh, that kind of the person who basically uh, ask the student to uh, define the problem or to search the problem because i know that uh, if in our system in our education system in uh, pg classes we are not providing that kind of uh, guidance that so uh, a student basically can define the problem so they spend one year and after one year also they are not able to define the objective of their problems exactly and because of that some young generation some young people basically get frustrated and waste their energy and time so we have to save their time we have to supervise them uh, properly and in an efficient way uh, as I have discussed in the first case the first case what was that the first case uh, because uh, uh, supervisor know about to the problem supervisor know uh, supervisor know about to the methodology and expected result and because of that uh, he want to basically carry uh, the work in a successive way to find some different result but uh, the person who don't know about to the problem and not working on a defined problem uh, so he asked to the scholar uh, to bring out some kind of problem and uh, do yourself and at that time what happens everybody knows so the problem is in our system we are not providing a proper education uh, for the research in uh, PG classes or in undergraduate classes so our students are not able to write the research publication in a proper way so this is one of the problem but say uh, the my main concern is focus on problems of the scholars which they face in the second case which I have mentioned here. So here the main point is uh, and uh, scholars should be very clear. They should, uh, now the time is they, should, uh, they don't get emotional with the uh, anyone. This is uh, just a learning process and uh, this your time is valuable and uh, learning is important if you are not learning if you are not uh, getting uh, training in a proper way uh, you are just wasting your time and money so here the main point is uh, many research scholars are not able to understand the objective of the research which they have to complete in their phd duration right second problem is they don't know objective also they don't know about to the methodology if they don't know an objective how one can define the methodology and ultimately the third point how they can expect the result will come in this way or if result are different then how they will interpret so these are the three points which one scholar have to check and observe very carefully before enter into the field of the research if you are if you are interested approach uh, expert supervisor approach the proper place search in uh, different areas of the country or around the world but don't uh, waste your time and money otherwise what will happen uh, the same uh, situation which i will tell you right now that will happen because you have spent one year to search the problem and then after you don't know about to the methodology if suppose you can you are able to define the problem in one year uh, the field in which you have shown interest to your supervisor 
then it will be very difficult the methodology how you basically select this kind of methodology will be suitable to for that research paper that methodology is experimental survey based or theoretical calculation do you know some uh, software and uh, languages or techniques related to that then again the same problem it, it's happen basically if you define the problem experimentally then do your supervisor provide you the facility of experiment but if you in the second case you select the uh, problem in theoretical but you don't know about to the pro uh, programming and uh, related software they are costly so then what you, will you do basically these are the situations which you have to understand before assigning the or before joining the phd right so these are some points uh, which you have to take care and in india don't get emotional nowadays right i was saying you that uh, if you will follow this kind of approach where you get emotional with the supervisor to get just a phd then what you will do you will work on that problem that's methodology you don't know but to get the phd you need some research paper and then that time what you will do you will approach the predatory journals right you will pay the money for the research publication and because of that science is getting spoiled so nowadays uh, the actual knowledge actual uh, we are not getting we are just fabric, uh, fabricating the data or we are just making the sentence right so these are the things and we have diluted the research because of uh, everybody knows uh, the research is uh, a criteria to get the promotion right and uh, to get the funds so original uh, research basically uh, is getting away day by day uh, from the uh, young generation so very few people those who are lucky get uh, chance uh, of a perfect supervisor they basically can survive otherwise uh, it is very difficult so my suggestion is only that uh, to the indian scholars indian students please don't get emotional to get uh, the phd uh, be professional and uh, talk frankly with the uh, your supervisor that what type of uh, work they are doing and what methodology they will do uh, use and what type of result basically are coming so don't follow that approach where supervisor ask you uh, define the problem right then that time uh, you you basically face the problem uh, not only you will waste your time you also waste your money too so be careful and uh, get involved with uh, some expert person right and uh, publish your research paper in authentic and uh, genuine journals so if you need any help i am available so thanks for watching this video and be very careful jai hind